In the quiet town of Romance, Arkansas, you won't see much more than a passing car or two. But this little town with big heart is known around the world. Hear about romance because of the post office. <laughs> you can either go with the butterfly or the corsage. The Romance Post Office, one of the only buildings in town, is the postal destination for lovers. It is busier here around Valentine's Day than any other day. Every year around this time, thousands of love letters and cards are sent to Romance to be canceled by the post office with a special stamp. It actually means that it can't be used again. So you take your, um, your hand canceler, you actually touch a little bit, so you get most of the actual design on to the letter. On the day we were there, Postal no, worker Christopher Lloyd had just stamped his 1500th letter, and it was only 11 a.m. In all honesty, when I first started here, I had no clue. I didn't figure there would be hardly anything, because, you know, there's 300 residents. There can't, can't be that much mail, you know. Last year, more than 12,000 letters were sent through the Romance Post Office, all with request to be hand-stamped with love. From Little Rock going to Tennessee, Another one from Texas, and probably the farthest one today is from Bryant going to Wisconsin. And it's not just the United States. People from all over the world go the distance for love. I got one from Japan, and I was like, I didn't even know people knew about this small town here in Arkansas. For the locals, it's tradition. Just sending off some, some cards to our sweethearts. <laughs> Jake Flasseter's grandfather stops by the post office every Valentine's Day, and now it's his turn to take part. It's just uh, an extra little nice step, you know? It'll just add a little something, something that's not real, like, corporate, you know? You can't necessarily buy it. you got to kind of work for it. Romance, Arkansas. All right, anything else I can help you with? No, that's it, man. All right, you have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. Appreciate you. Putting its name on the map and its stamp on Valentine's Day. Laura Monteverdi. THV 11 News.